Well, the science is very clear that uh, we won't be able to tackle both crises of biodiversity loss and climate change on their own. We must act together, tackling both crises at the same time. And so national governments are actually at the forefront of designing strategies and action plans that uh, not only tackle these post crises but also monitor the impact of their efforts, reporting to both conventions at the same time. So there's a huge potential for the national governments and local governments to scale up these efforts and to bring this knowledge not only to other subnational governments, but also to national governments in order to make progress on these important issues. Um, subnational governments are already a very highly recognized key actor in the coming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. They are the core of implementation. They have the access to their citizens and know the reality and context of the regions and of their constituencies and of operationalizing the framework. And this applies also to climate mitigation and adaptation um, strategies and action plans. They know how to put this to the ground, how to make it happen. That's why it would be most important for subnational governments to have access to appropriate funding and to be able to manage those budgets and manage those funds to really make things happen in a way that is not only holistic, but close to the ground. And in that sense, subnational governments need to keep their huge efforts that they are doing in mobilizing other subnational governments and doing what we call vertical integration and having this connection between the subnational level and the national level in order to bring more synergies into actions and also to bring the what we call the reality check, you know, the operational uh, level of implementation of these multilateral agreements.